hi babes welcome back to my channel this hairstyle is back and trending it is one of the traditional tribal hairstyles in africa so in yoruba it's called the koroba hairstyle it's also called the malagasy hairstyle and of recent it's been called the swirl swirl <laughs> swirl braids like s w i r l braids so i am quickly going to show you how to do it this technique applies for the different versions that you saw at the beginning of the video we will be using brazil wool for this one but you can use the regular braiding hair extension and i have a video um i made um last week where yeah, I use the regular braiding hair so if you want to see that you can watch that video but this is the wool we are using we just cut it into the length that we want so the thickness of the braid and how long it is is going to affect the size of those um, spiral part of the hair so this is about half the length we use because we cut it again okay that's the length we use and this is how the braid was made you can make not less braid to make it less painful um, but yeah I braided it let me see is that not less braid no I just made a regular braid made sure her natural hair was tucked away safely and then after the braid I will go ahead and make the the <laughs> the swirl shape and this technique can be used pretty much for every hairstyle i am just basically showing you how to make that shape so if you're making a cornrow hairstyle you can just make the cornrows and then where you have the tail of the braid you make the koroba malagasy inspired you can just play around with it as you saw in those pictures i have those pictures there for inspiration so that you can see that you can make different type of styles using this technique or this hairstyle so yeah i'm just going to braid it and make a knot so that it does not unravel and then we continue from there so just one more braid and then you will see how it is made thank you for watching don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you're someone that is not confident don't make this hairstyle because it's going to draw so much attention to you and you're going to look like a queen you're going to look like royalty if that's a problem for you don't do it but the good thing about this hairstyle is if you rock it for a while and you feel like you want to change you can just take down the spiral part dip it in hot water dip the hair in hot water and it's back to like being jumbo braids i can say so even if you make i don't know every type of hair you make with this style you can take it down whenever you want to just to change up your style that is what i did i had mine for a little over a week and then i took it down because the balls were basically on my face on my forehead and at the point i was just over the this i i didn't want that again but every single time people see me they just stare at the hair it is so gorgeous just very beautiful <laughs> well i'm going to let you watch just from now we are going to start rolling 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 and pinning the hair you have to be mindful when you're sewing the hair like this you need your needle and thread try to have the thread concealed as much as possible if you are using braiding hair it is not going to be this easy and um, using brazil wool is easier because it is not slippery or slick so the hair is not going to be falling all over the place but if you're using braiding hair extension it's going to be just a little 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 bit more difficult you would have to like roll a little so the hair to make it secure and then roll again so roll you might not be able to roll all the way to the length you want until after a while after a while you figure out how to hold it and roll all the way without it coming or falling off you understand so at this point i have okay i already filmed one for a child i made like the opposite of ponytail so instead of the hair point 
gathering from the edges to the center of the head. The hair came from the center of the head all over her face, like around the perimeter of the head. And then I made this shape, the spiral shape on her head, on the braids, and it looked so. <sighs> what is the word? Just perfect. So if you want to be, if you want to have an idea of how to do it for your baby girl, then that video is going to be up soon. But I have it among my shorts video. If you want to see it, it's among the shorts video. So <laughs> for the 20th time, thank you for watching. Enjoy.